Welcome to Pet News. I'm Denise Richardson, and this is my little baby, Muffy. You know, every week we have shelter animals on our program that are looking for homes. By adopting one of these animals, not only do you get love, but a gift worth $25. Any dog or cat adopted through our show will be registered free of charge with 1-800-HELP-FOR-PETS, a company that protects your pet in case of an emergency. So if you're looking to adopt a dog or a cat, check out the ones we have on Pet News each week. First, she started her career as a pop singer when she was just 16 years old. Since then, Deborah Gibson has sold more than 16 million albums worldwide. We caught up with this former teen sensation as she took a break from her lead role in the play Gypsy. Do you recognize this famous face? It's Deborah Gibson, the teen idol who burst onto the music scene in the 80s with hit songs like Electric Youth and Think With Your Heart. But while most of us remember her as Debbie Gibson, the singer, this young woman not only grew up and changed her name to Deborah, she's been busy building her career as a stage actress. However, one thing that will never change in Deborah's life is the love she has for her dog. Daisy is the newest member of her family. Her name came to me immediately because she's very delicate. She often sits like this with her little paws crossed. So she's like a delicate little flower, which was why I wanted to name her Daisy. We caught up with Deborah and her canine friends at the William Secord Gallery in Manhattan, where they were sharing some fun times together. Most galleries don't welcome dogs, but here they're the stars, with every piece of art featuring a canine subject. As for Deborah's art, sure enough, her dogs inspired her to write a song. Walking the dog in New York City. It's like a cool, quirky, jazzy tune about the attention dogs bring you, especially in New York, and especially with members of the opposite sex. Speaking of attention, Deborah's been getting a lot of it herself lately. Her Broadway debut as Eponine in Les Miserables won her critical acclaim, and she's been acting ever since. Deborah's latest role is one very close to her heart. She's playing the lead in the musical Gypsy. Although it's a limited engagement, it's a role Deborah has been preparing for her whole life. It's very much someone I can relate to because in my life I've gone through so many transitions and this is great because the audience gets to see this transition this young girl makes from A to Z. No matter how many changes Deborah's gone through in her life, she's always had a dog by her side. I love Dachshunds because I grew up with a Dachshund and uh, I, his name was Sam. May he rest in peace. He lived till about age 15. A love of dogs and another thing Deborah shares with Gypsy Rose Lee. The legendary burlesque star loved the Chinese Crested and made them a fashionable breed in the 1950s. Deborah says she identifies with Gypsy's story on many other levels as well. It's so well written that <clears throat> you can really understand the struggle for her and this push she gave herself and this push her mother gave her. Deborah's not the only star in her family. Her cocker spaniel Rosie and Dachshund Jojo showed us how they play at home. I think when you have pets, you're just a person that's less focused on yourself and more focused on others, <clears throat> it kind of really brings out the humane side of people. And because her dogs inspire her to think of the less fortunate, Deborah tries to involve them in her charity work. One such event was the Dogs Walk Against Cancer, where they helped Deborah sing up support for this charitable cause. Just being someone's caretaker, you know what I mean, it kind of like sheds light and, and it definitely crosses over into human beings. You know, you, you feel like, wow, there are people out there, there are animals out there who need, you know, desperately need help. With her acting and singing careers booming, it doesn't look like Deborah needs any help finding happiness. But when she does need that extra bit of support, she'll know just where to turn for it. Because when you have the love of a few good dogs, anything is possible. Dana Kennedy, Fox News. Deborah's looking and sounding good. If you're in the New York City area, you can catch a gypsy at the Paper Mill Playhouse in Milburn, New Jersey. Coming up next, folks, they call the man's best friend, but we win.